too much wind. Too cold. Start the truck and uh, get these batteries charged. They're super dead. maybe a half a turn out of that hook clamp and as well as this one I looked down this is what you can do you see where the corrosion is there from where the pipe was seeping out and you see, see where the hose slid back as well as this one all three just up and started leaking I don't know why Are super tight now. I, maybe that's just what they need. These are not super tight. Leaking. So I don't know. Might be corroding. Uh, this one was probably just loose. Keep an eye out. Looks like everything else is looking pretty good too. Fix the uh, heat wrap on this side of the shifter link and just smacking it, tearing it up. I definitely have an exhaust leak over here. Uh, it's probably where the bolt is missing, where it's snapped off. I'm trying to remove the old one. Um, but for some reason, I can only hear that when it's cold. The way the metal is warping from temperature, but when it warms up, it's a lot harder to hear. When it first starts, you can definitely hear a distinct leak over here. This could be one of these welds. Just look for some dark spots. I'll have to check it in the. Is that one? No, I'll, just check that maybe. I'll have to check it in the. When I watch the video. I cannot see down there. I could get a mirror, but I'll have to worry. Got me my first iron skillets. Got me the good uh, made in America ones too. I've never felt uh, Chinese iron before, but oh, that was disgusting. It felt like sandpaper. Night and day difference. Uh, a similar pan. It's uh, like over three times the price for the same size, but it actually weighs more than something of the same size. So I feel like it's been mixed with aluminum or something. I don't know. It does not feel like something I would ever eat off of. By Lodge, made in the USA, and uh, yeah, I was having problems with my normal pans having hot spots right in the center. So 
I got me some uh, iron skillets. Heat disperses a lot better. It holds the heat so I can fry up my hash browns and then uh, set those aside and then fry up my eggs real quick. I figured these would be awesome for making little, um, for making eggs in the morning. Got to need to make sure I season these and make sure I wash them right. And it's also kind of nice. You can throw them, uh, put them on a bunch of coals, cook them in the campfire. Hand wash, dry, rub with cooking oil. That's pretty easy. 100 years is still cooking. Oh, yeah. I would have cheaped out if the metal didn't feel so crappy. I mean, I, I usually buy China because I'm poor. And I do appreciate them for that. I like that they can get me stuff that I couldn't normally get from being poor. But boy, that was a night and day difference. That's a, I like that wolf on the back. That's cool. Is that on? What a big one. Does that have anything? No. Just a uh, Lodge 5 USA 10S or 10 SK? Wonder what that all means. But yeah, sweet. I can cook my eggs and hash browns. Switching back over to diesel for heat. Holy crap. In this cold weather, as propane goes so fast, that's insane. Um, so yeah, I've still been tossing back and forth between the heaters, getting used to them. Just kind of trying to see what does what. I like the propane just because I'm used to it and well now I don't really like it so much because I just filled this up not just not a few days ago and now it's all gone I guess it's just a cold winter. The diesel heater is out of fuel. These, these uh, few frigid nights that we had just killed. Actually, it was a bit more than a few. Because we also burned up the propane first. That's all, not completely gone. I could probably get another couple nights out of that. Or more. It seems like when it gets down to E, there's quite a bit left. But. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's shutting down. I just went out and checked. It's just a thin layer of diesel left. I'm surprised it's still actually drawing it in into that uh, barbed fitting because it's raised, you know, it's raised about as high as that level of diesel. So it's right there. It's just about done. So tomorrow on my list, I got uh, to pick up a diesel tank. So I got some extra diesel with me. I'm gonna get some diesel, fill the thing up, fill up the tank. I'm near Walmart, so I will go over and get one of those yellow cans. Let's look at my list. Okay, so I'm here at Home Depot. I'm gonna run in and see what they got for amp meter. I wanna start really figuring out what I'm using and size up my battery bank because that's becoming a dire need. And get some, I'm gonna get a diesel can. I'm gonna go over and get diesel, propane, and then I need to get a new heater valve for the, uh, the coolant heater or the heater core up at the the engine here the old one's leaking it's all rusted out and I need a new one or else this one's just gonna keep dripping antifreeze on my fan belt all right I use this to get the uh, battery bank charged up slowly only using 15 amps and then switched over to the big ol' converter here to maintain the voltage when the fan, uh, heater kicks on and stuff. 